Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This crew belongs to Luna. These are all sold. So if you're viewing this on YouTube, um, these guys are sold. There is a couple more litters on the website that are very similar to them, uh, especially in coloring. We've got some parties, we've got some merles, we've got some chocolate merles, we got a little bit of everything. Um, they are doing phenomenal. <laughs> You're just having a great time, aren't you? Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna give you a microchip number. I know, it's just good babies. And we're going to give you current weights. And we have started weaning them. There are, some of them are in the house, some of them aren't in the house yet. Um, some of them should be, well, everybody should be in the house by the end of this week. I know it. It's good babies. Where are you guys? Okay. So what I'm going to do, they still have their collars on. So we're going to do this by colors. And I know, are you here? Let's do you first. I don't care who we do first. You're closest. Let's do you first. So this one is the light turquoise blue collared puppy. And my microchipper has been acting up. So if it's decided to be, no, it's going to work. 1763 and this may be impossible to get weights on uh, I'm not doing photos anymore these guys I don't have enough patience <laughs> to put them on a table and take their pictures it's just a nightmare you might take 40 pictures to hope you get three you can use so let's do this one first this is the light blue collar and two pounds 13.5 and I'm gonna hold him up and let you get a good face shot so you can see what he looks like. Something's going on in the kennel. Everybody's barking. Somebody must have gotten out in the aisle. Beautiful coats on these guys. They're just awesome. You want down and go? You wanna go? And this is a male. All right, come here, little peapod. Oh, come here. Let's do you next. They're all the way to the other end. This is the neon green, and you're back. 1762, this one has, if I can get under all this coat, now you all come back. This has got the neon bright green collar on. This is a female. Beautiful coat on this puppy. She's got just a gorgeous coat. Hold her up here and get you a face shot. I know, that's enough. She said, I don't have enough patience. Coats are phenomenal. They look like little polar bears. Hi, boogers. What are you doing? I see ya. All right, this will be interesting. Let's see if I can get her to sit on the scale. Probably not very long. Three pounds, 15 on the button. So it's almost four pounds. She's three pounds, 15 ounces. All right, ouch, that's my arm. That's my arm, that's my toes, that's worse. I took my shoes off because they were all chewing my feet. And I could not, ouch, 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 ouch. And I could not make them stop. All right, you get going. Ooh, I missed. Puppy, puppy, puppies. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you can't go play yet. All right, this is the neon pink collared black female. 1759, and she's like, my legs are gonna go, I wanna run. They've been inside all day and they're ready to play. I'm gonna give you a face picture first. She says, I want in on that Scrabble. Yep, I want in on that Scrabble. Beautiful coat, already getting really pretty curls in. Oh, I know, you're ready to go play. Hold your pants on, I gotta weigh you first. I'm gonna turn her this way so I can get her on the scale. No help. Two pounds, oops, 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 oops. Two pounds, 15, one. Okay, you little stinker. You ready to go? Go, 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 go. All right, let me grab this one. Oh, that's my feet. No, I'm gonna bop you. No, no. Thank you. First lesson of the word no. All right, of course, we're not working again. This is the black boy. Oh, I gotta move my knees. I'm gonna push you out of the way. All right, we gotta have a battery loose in here. Ah, oh, there we go. 1764 is the microchip number. I'm gonna hide my chipper. You're a little stink pot. You're just causing trouble. All right, so this little guy has a neon orange collar and everybody wants to chew on him. Go play, go play. Go out here and go get something. Here, get this, get them, get that. Oh no, now this one's got my toes, no. 
All right, let me hold him up here and get a face picture. If they'll all leave him alone, don't chew on me. Here, here. No. I'm gonna start swatting you in the nose with my toes. All right. Susie wants to know what you weigh, so hold still. Two pounds, six ounces on the button. No, this isn't Susie's, this is the boy, sorry. Susie's was a little girl. Let me see if I got you right. Oh, it's really windy, it's like two, oh, hold still, ouch. Yep, two pounds, 6.5. We've had a 100 degree heat index, and today it's like, oh, this is a great day. This is like spring. All right, who have we not done? Come here, Ronnie. No toes, no toes. No toes. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. I know I'm not moving. You have to come to me. All right, and you're eating grass. Yeah, you're having your lunch salad. 1761. No. No toes. I know I walked you with my toes. Quit. Leave them alone. Uh, this one has a light pink collar. And she is a chunk. She is a chunk. I'm gonna hold him up, hold her up here and get you a good face picture. Are you back? Are you mad at me because I swatted you? Yeah, and no toes, and no means no. Here, you go play with your sister. No. When you hear him crying, I've plopped him with my toes. They won't leave my toes alone. Okay. We are four pounds, 1.3 ounces. Yep, four pounds, 1.3. And she's got a beautiful coat, just a really nice coat. What are you doing? She says, I'm busy. All right, guys, you're done. You're done, I know. You're... Susie, you have your hands full. Um, so the biggest thing I can tell you is set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Just like me popping them in the nose with my foot, hard enough to make them yep a little bit and tell them no. Um, you have to be the alpha. You have to set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Otherwise, they're gonna rule your life and you're gonna hate them. So, uh, no. I do not allow chewing on me at all. They have not been in the house yet. This is the first day that some of them are in the house and some of them are still with mom. So that's gonna stop with us. I do not let them chew, I do not let them lick. And uh, no. That was the wrong end, but it got the message through. Uh, that's the biggest thing, especially if you have small children. No, do not let them um, do anything at this age that you do not want them to do when they're adult. Because right now you might say, oh, but it's really cute, they're just babies. No, they're not, they're piranha on four feet. So they, no, you are bad about that, no. I know, you can just cry all you want, you're fine. And this one's saying, I'm gonna get your fingers because you're not looking. Um, I would also please remember crate training. I would not let them look, have the run of your house whatsoever. It's also not safe for them. So uh, make sure you give them a confined area when you are not physically interacting with them. Don't let them run the house. Uh, if you're doing the dishes and they're on the floor playing, that does not mean they should be loose because you really can't keep an eye on them. So you really want them to wear, um, when you're not physically interacting with them and doing something with them, no, no. Don't let them loose. Put them in a crate, uh, put them in an X-pin, uh, put a couple baby gates up if you wanna leave them in the kitchen, but they're much easier to house train if you do the crate training when they're little. Um, if we are shipping you your puppy, and I have to look at the, I can't remember on my calendar who we're shipping and who we're not, um, all of your important things are going to be on top of your crate. We're probably going to send out your booklets this week. Uh, your boxes, if we're shipping to you, you'll get those in the mail. And, uh, but on your crate, you'll have your health card, your spay neuter sheet, and your microchip information. That's the biggest thing that your vet's going to want to see is the health card and the spay neuter sheet. So um, please remember that's on your crate. Your crate will also have your name on the front of it. That peels off. I do it on removable tape so it does not ruin your crate. Um, also, your paperwork will be on the back of your kennel or on the top in a bag with dog food. 
in a separate bag underneath your dog food. So uh, a lot of people call me and go, I never got the paperwork. Well, yep, open the package up, it's on your crate. So it will be in there with your dog food. Um, other than that, if you are picking up your puppy in person, please, please call me and book this puppy in for pickup so that you get the day you want. I have some things coming up and some procedures I'm having done. There are a few days I'm not gonna be able to do puppy pickup. So um, please call me and book that in. If you don't reach me, text me. But please do not email me or you're liable to miss your pickup date and I may not see your email because I get so many emails every week. So other than that, uh, where are we at? 11. 11. Um, they're doing great. They're gonna get, uh, you know, everything will be on, everything will be done to them that they will be old enough to be done, uh, have done to them before they go home. And that will all show up on your health card. Oh, I know. Get you, 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 get you. And uh, call me with any questions. I hope you've enjoyed their video. They're a sweet bunch of babies. I love Luna's puppies. And uh, I know, just this he's a bad boy sometimes, aren't you? But uh, just remember, they're a puppy. And truthfully, you're going to be about eight months old before you can actually say, oh, I can go to the grocery and leave the dog out and it's not going to demolish my house. But until that eight month old period, when they're done chewing and losing their teeth, you don't want them loose in your house. They will ruin your house. Oh, he says that feels so good. That feels so good. I'm gonna chew right there. Oh my gosh, that feels good. You're nosy. Yeah, you're nosy. So have a good one. We'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed their video.